Hi, my name is Phil Smith, and this is how I make comics. So on the topic of how to break into comics, in one of our script books, I believe it was the Hunter Killer number one script book, uh, Mark Wade was asked this question, and he put it the best. Whenever someone breaks into comics, it's like breaking into a military facility. They immediately close the way that you got in and make sure that no one can ever get back in that way ever again. I found that to be kind of true, unfortunately. Uh, to get an editor's attention, be polite. Uh, let's talk about con etiquette. Okay, if you're a freelancer, uh, an artist, and you have a portfolio under your arm, a lot of the guys buy the uh, binders that have a sleeve on the end, but they don't put any art on it. So you're standing in line for maybe hours, depending on which line you're in, and you have none of your art showing. Uh, whenever I see an artist who takes the time to put art on that little sleeve on the outside, it's like advertising. The guys can see you in line and they can see a little bit of your art. Even if they can't get to you, if something catches their eye, it's a hook. You maybe have one or two minutes to make a good impression and your art's going to speak for you. If you sit there for two minutes with a closed portfolio talking about how much you love comics, you're not doing anything. Because what the editor cares about is, is your art any good? Can you deliver it on time? You're sitting there with a closed book, he doesn't care about your life story. Well, he might care about your life story if he's a nice guy. But if he's slammed, probably not. Sorry if that's harsh. Oh, my God.